Hey everybody, Anne here, and I just wanted to give you an update on my hydroponic endeavors. So here we go, growing stuff, baby steps number two. First off, I got some giant kale seeds to sprout. A friend gave them to me, and every single one of them sprouted, so I've got, I don't know, three, four, five of them growing in little setups like I've got there, the cracking method. That's just the, the net cup on top of another cup, and there's solution in the bottom. Right now, it's just water. I think it might even be uh, my fish water. Or not sure um so yeah that's growing pretty good and i'm really really happy about it this next one shows well uh kind of like in the left hand side there that's some butter crunch lettuce that is finally growing thank goodness it's sitting on top of a pot because i'm running out of space i'm, I'm trying to grow too much um it's sitting on top of a pot that has some more giant kale in it and just above that is like rainbow chard I guess it is yeah another kind of lettuce and then kind of like right to the right of the chard is some red romaine lettuce it's kind of like sitting down on the table down in there and then and you can see the closet it's got all those reflectix on it and whatnot um the next one is uh, that's not a very good picture but I had been given some serrano peppers from a client of mine they said here I want you to try these well I did they're very spicy very tasty peppers so I just uh saved a few dried them out and used the seeds and guess what they're sprouting so I've got a couple of them that are growing and I am very very happy about that and then this okay now the bigger tomato plant is from I had just gone to the store and got some cherry tomatoes they were organic cherry tomatoes thank goodness so I just dried them out you, you have to ferment them first and then separate the seeds and all that that's what I did so the, the bigger tomato plant that is a cherry tomato plant the smaller one right next to it to the left of it is the mystery plant remember that was growing that I didn't know what it was well this is just not taken off and it's just not grown very well um, even when I've separated it and put it in different places and and whatnot it's still just not growing very well but the other one is so I'm really really happy about the tomato plant that is growing well um here here is a picture of the cucumber plant and you're only seeing about half of it because I've got it strung up and it's growing up and I'm really happy with what's going on with the cucumber plant and um, yeah off to the left is the the tomato plants as you can see there see see I got a I got a little baby cucumber isn't it cute that is one of the ones that I fertilized I just took a q-tip put it in one of the male blooms switched it around and then put it inside the female bloom that's attached to the little fruit there and switched it around so hope it'll work there is another one I think yep there's another one that is also been fertilized so hopefully they'll grow and they won't die I don't know if I did it right let's see what's next oh okay so this is my little grow station that's not in the closet and that's not a very bright picture I don't know why because it is really really well lit so I don't know what the deal is but it's got a whole bunch of different stuff in it it's mainly got chamomile and it has um, on the left hand side there is yeah I think that's cilantro it's got some lemon balm down there in the bottom and it's also got some chamomile growing Oh, and the little thing in the plastic cup there, those are chives that I started, oh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Let's see what else. Oh, yep, this is some chamomile that's definitely starting to grow a little bit now. Um, these are about a week old, so I'm happy that they're growing. I've got a whole bunch of little chamomile plants that I'm hoping that will grow very big because I love chamomile tea, and that's what I'm going to use them for. And then here's a closer up look at one of the lemon balm plants. Yeah, I love it. I love lemon balm and I use that for tea as well. Then we've got, these are pepper plants. The three on the bottom are hmm, <laughs> giant red marconis. Those are giant red marconis. And then the top four are green bell peppers. So they're starting to grow a little bit and I'm happy. And those all came from fruits from my garden. And so, I mean, I took the, the seeds and dried them out and put them in the rock bowl. And this is what's going on with them. So I'm really happy. It took four ever for the green bell preppers to finally sprout but they did i just kept holding on and so they're doing okay and then this oh yeah the two on the right are from seeds that the same friend that gives me all my other seeds gave me and um he said he's grown these before i never have they are they're like yellow 
or ivory Egyptian eggplant or something. They're basically white eggplant. And I've grown eggplant before. The kind I've had the most success with have been the, the long Japanese eggplant. And I love them. They got a good flavor. Um, in the upper left-hand corner is more gigantic kale. And um, then the lower left-hand corner is some more chamomile. So that's growing. And once those get some really good roots on them, I'll take them and I'll put them in a bigger thing. And hopefully the roots will get even bigger. This, oh, this is just the cilantro. I just put a little disc over it there. I just had cut from the top of the container that it's in and I figured I'm going to go ahead and save it. I put a little slit in it, put it over the top. That way algae won't grow on the top of the rock wool. Sometimes I'll just put hydrotin, hydrotin, however you say it. The little clay pellets, I'll put them in top of the net cup to make it so they don't grow mold. Okay, the two on the right are cilantro and they're getting kind of reachy. Um, yeah, I don't like that, but, and then all these other little teeny tiny ones and little black spots, those are all peppermint plants, and you're just supposed to, you're not supposed to put them down in a hole or anything, you're just supposed to spread them on top of the dirt, or in my case, on top of the rock wool, I didn't think that they would sprout, but they did, so I got a whole bunch of little peppermint plants sprouting up, and those are about, oh, I want to say a week old, so they sprout up pretty quick, and they're, they're just now starting to try to, you know, get their roots growing and whatnot, they're not at the bottom of the rock wool yet, so. And then I went out and bought another mint plant from the store <laughs> that grows in soil. You know, you've seen them. They like, um, they're in the grocery store aisle. And so, yeah, I took it out. And the other mint plant just basically ended up dying. I mean, I harvested it three or four times, but something happened to the roots. The roots just got all rotted. And I think it has something to do just taking a plant from soil and putting them in the, the minerals, the solution, the whatever it is you call it. But anyhow, I decided to do it again just because I love mint so much and my little peppermint plants are super tiny right now so yeah I washed out all of the dirt and put it down in some hydroponic solution no 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 no. I, I had fish water in there yeah and you know what some good healthy white roots are starting to grow I should have taken a picture of it so you can see the difference between the roots that were already there that were in the soil and the new roots that are coming through that are nice and white and healthy so hopefully those will be the ones that'll help you know help it survive oh let's see the one in the little cup on the right is some basil and in the tray next to it is more basil more chives and the row on the right there that you can't see anything that's oregano there are little oregano sprouts in there so they are starting to grow they're just really tiny and so any of the stuff that's still on a tray it's still in a tray because the roots just aren't you know coming through the bottom of the rock wool so I, I just haven't put them in a you know in a net cup yet so all of the stuff that's in like the little cracky cups and whatnot those will all be transplanted into their own either their own buckets just depending on what they are if it's like the eggplant if that grows I'll probably put one plant per bucket or if they're just the herbs like the basil I'll probably just put them in one of the smaller grow stations that are kind of like the typical hydroponic or aeroponic gardens that you see but anyhow that's all I've got for you guys today thanks for watching and you know what I'm gonna be like the other youtubers and remind you to like and subscribe and hit that bell because I'm gonna start doing more videos now yes I am because I'm awesome like that and you guys take it easy and have a good day